Previously, we explored layouts, these handy UI components that are shared between multiple pages in your application. Every app needs a root layout, which in our case lives in the layout.tsx file in the app folder. Now here is something cool about layouts. You can nest them. Let's say you want a special layout just for your product details pages. We can do that by adding a layout.tsx file inside the product details folder. Let me show you how. In the product ID folder, create layout.tsx file. Here, define and default export a React component. So export default function, let's call this product details layout. The component accepts children prop of type react.react node, and we return the children prop along with an h2 that says featured products. So just like the root layout, we're exporting a React component with a children prop. But this time, the children prop represents the product ID page content. Details about product followed by product ID. I've also added a simple h2 heading that says featured products. Think of this as a spot where you might want to show a carousel of featured products. Let's see how this works. Back in the browser, when you visit the root route, so localhost 3000, you will only see the root layout, header, footer, and the children content from page.tsx in the app folder. Same thing happens when you visit slash products, header, footer, and the product list component as children. But here is where it gets interesting. When you navigate to a specific product, so slash products slash one, you will see that featured products section appear for slash one, slash two, and even slash 100. This happens because first, Next.js renders the root layout with the children prop representing the product ID folder content. Then the product IDs layout kicks in, replacing the children prop in the root layout we will see featured products. Finally, the actual page content from page.tsx in the product ID folder fills in the children prop in the product ID layout. This pattern gives you the power to create specialized layouts for different parts of your application. Here's a visualization of nested layouts in the app router. For localhost 3000, layout.tsx file in the app folder gets rendered. For slash products, the component in page.tsx in the products folder replaces the children prop in the root layout. When you visit slash products slash one tsx, the component in layout.tsx becomes the children prop in the root layout. The product details layout contains the featured products. And then the component from page.tsx gets rendered as the children prop in the product ID's layout.tsx file. So we see the header and footer and sandwiched in between we see the layout and page components from product ID. When you navigate to slash product slash two, only the page.tsx content gets replaced with the updated JSX. The key takeaway here is that Next.js app router supports nested layouts, letting you customize different parts of your app exactly how you want to. Now you might be wondering, what if I want to exclude the header and footer from certain pages? For pages like login, register, or forgot password, you may want a cleaner, more focused layout. Well, don't worry. There is a straightforward solution for this, which we will explore next. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.